Hey, what's going on guys? Bobo here. So today in this tutorial, I want to make it um, short and sweet. Uh, I'm going to show you how to make a really simple effect, which is the spell effect that I make in pretty much all my backgrounds nowadays. So a lot of people have been asking me questions about uh, how I make that. It's pretty simple. Uh, I use only one Photoshop tool and uh, that is it. So I'm going to keep it short and sweet and just go right off the bat and explain it to you. So I'm going to delete these layers and start over. I'm going to create a new layer with a um, a screen layer mode. Make sure that this is selected. If your background is really bright though, you won't see uh, the spell because the screen layer mode pretty much uh, lets you uh, overlap your color with um, the background color. So if it's dark, it's going to look good. Uh, this background is really dark, so it's going to look good. But if it's really bright, uh, your colors are not going to show. They're going to blend with the background and you won't see your spell. So if your background is really, really bright, um, just use the normal mode and you're going to have to add a lot of uh, lighting effects to make the, the spell look like it's bright. But uh, I can I cannot show you um, that right now because I don't have any bright backgrounds to uh, to show you the difference on. But uh, I'm sure you guys can figure it out. You're just gonna have to do everything and do. But instead of using a screen layer mode, you use a normal layer mode, and that's gonna be it. So uh, for this one, I'm gonna use the screen layer mode. It's gonna give some nice uh, translucent uh, effect to the the color, and it's gonna look good. So first thing you're gonna do, take a brush gonna take a uh, bright color so usually it fits with your background I'm gonna take a darker color than what I should want for a spell because I want to create a base color in the background and I'm just gonna draw like a line pretty long line since that is the base and it just has to look uh, kind of normal so here I'm gonna take the smudge tool uh, it's over here under the bucket, hold left click if you don't see it and if it's another tool that is selected for you, uh, make sure that you take that. And usually I like to use 60% for the strength over here on the top because otherwise if you use uh, too much strength instead of doing this, it's going to do something like that. So this is too much strength and uh, at least for now, so I'm going to use 60%. And then I'm going to start creating a sort of wave pattern with the light I just created. So I'm going to start at the top. I don't want to make it too too tall. I'm going to try to keep it like a normal length of a spell. So I like to create some wave and some fire pattern. So what you do is that you uh, go to the left side and then you push the pixels around, make a like a nest curve. And then you go to the top, make an S-curve, and then go to the right and make another S-curve. And it's going to create these uh, these like lines of spells that are going to blend together at the top. And it's going to look uh, really spellish. <laughs> Don't know if that's a word, but whatever, you get what I'm saying. This looks like a spell, and that's what we're looking for. So I like to push the colors um, of the end over here. Uh, to make sure that it looks like the spell are coming of the end. So pretty much what the smudge tool does is push pixels around. So uh, that's all it does. Um, so you just push the pixels you just created and you push them the way you want. So this is pretty much the base spell that I, uh, I'm going to use. Uh, it looks good to me. I just want to make sure that I push it everywhere. All right, so this looks pretty good. So I'm going to create a new layer use the same thing, screen layer mode. Um, gonna keep it at 100% opacity, gonna keep 100 strength, but now I'm gonna reduce the size of my brush because I'm gonna use the brush now to draw another color. And I'm gonna reduce the size a little bit. Gonna take a brighter color, draw a neat little circle line-ish type thing. Who cares, doesn't matter. And then I'm gonna take this much, this much tool again, reduce the size and then I'm just going to follow the pattern I just created. So you just push the pixels around. Make sure you leave some space to see the pattern you just created. So by doing that, what it's going to do is that it's going to create some nice contrast with the other layer you just made. And it looks like the spell has uh, more color intensity. So there's like some, there's some heat coming out of the spell. Let's give some cool effects. So if I can show you, this is the before, this is the after. 
it just looks like there's some different colors going on and there's a lot of difference in the heat of the spell and uh, that is honestly pretty much it like you're almost done this is what it looks like it looks pretty good i'm doing it with a mouse right now so that you guys can see that it's doable with a mouse i would use a drawing pad normally and it looks a lot more fluid with it and you can do a lot more it's really precise with the mouse but i mean with the the uh, yeah, drawing pad but for the sake of the tutorial i just want to show you that it's possible to do it with a mouse so um next step you can stop here and you're pretty much done so if you want to stop watching the tutorial you can stop right here um this is it but if you want to add some more realism you can create a new layer do the exact same thing go to screen uh stick that overlay and then i like to reduce the opacity to about 40 percent because i don't want it to show too much and then i'm gonna take a color a, the white color and uh, then i'm gonna take the brush really small one create a little like circle in the middle I don't see it for some reason. Is it oh, oh I, I typed 4% in Opacity. And now I typed 400%, that's bad. Can I type properly? Thank you. I'm just gonna create the layer again because I really messed it up. So make sure you have the right Opacity selected. So 30% seems about right. I'm gonna create a little smudge over here. And I'm gonna increase the strength of the smudge tool here because otherwise it's gonna take forever to push the pixels around with that little small thing so i increase the strength to about 80 percent and once again i'm going to do the same thing follow the pattern i just created around like that and it's just going to add some some more realism to the entire thing so i like to break the lines it doesn't look like it's something i just uh, brushed on so whatever it looks like there's a, a source of light somewhere and sometimes it looks good sometimes it doesn't so i like to pick the line and i just follow it around i'm sorry for my voice by the way i've been pretty sick for the past couple days and i've tried to make this video but i just couldn't because my voice was uh pretty bad and since i have a pretty thick accent uh i just want to make sure that you guys understood me so uh, that's pretty much it for this tutorial guys uh you're done with that you can add some uh, new I don't know, like um, colors on top of it to make it look brighter. Uh, for the people that have a screen, uh, I mean a background that's really bright and they are using the uh, normal layer mode instead of the screen mode because that's what it's going to look like if you use the normal mode. Um, still looks good, you just have to select different colors. Uh, but it still looks really decent, I actually like that a lot. So uh, this is what it looks like if you use the normal layer mode. But for the people who want to add some more um, I don't know, flash to the spell if they're using that mode because their background is really bright. Uh, what you're gonna do is create a, um, take a huge brush and on top of all the, your layers you've just made, you're gonna create, like, you're gonna take a really bright color. So if you use some green, try to use some, like, uh, blue, blue color on top of it and just uh, select the an overlay, an overlay layer on top of it and then. Um, you just brush on top of the of the ear end and there you go it's like really bright you can reduce the opacity to whatever you want to make it like as bright or whatever and uh, there you have it you have a spell so it looks good you made it yourself you didn't use any stock pictures it took you about five minutes to do it and it looks really good so um yeah you're a genius <laughs> so uh, that's pretty much it you can use that to for anything on your character i use that to uh create you know like the um, uh, the, the, the highs of my character, the smoke coming out of the shoulders, anything that looks like a particle on my character that I need to add afterward, I use that. So um, that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, just practice a lot. It's really hard at first to create these smudge and create these like smoky, fire-ish spells. So uh, I hope you enjoyed it. I'm sure you've learned something today. If you haven't and you have some more question, it's fine, just ask me in the comment. You can contact me on Facebook, Twitter, just in the comment section, whatever. Uh, try not to message me on YouTube because I don't see the message. I don't have, I don't even know how to get to my mailbox on YouTube. So just message me on whatever social media you can reach me on and uh, I'll, I'll make sure to uh, reply as fast as I can. So um, yeah, that's pretty much it for the tutorial. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure to leave a like, comment, uh, maybe subscribe if you haven't already done that. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya.